<laughs> there you go. How mind-blowingly brilliant is that? So this is probably going to be one of the most exciting things that I have seen in a very, very long time. You've probably seen the increase in AI-generated imagery, and up until this point, you've been restricted to premium services such as like Mid Journey or DALI 2. But now you can actually generate your own images at home directly from within Blender. This is an absolute game changer. Previously, you would have to jump onto like textures.com and search your image. But now if you want a particular texture, you just need to figure out a way to describe it and the software will literally generate it for you. So now I'm going to show you what it's capable of and then I'm going to show you how to install it. So the plugin is called Dream Textures and it is completely free. And once you've installed the plugin, it comes with three different presets. You have texture, photography, concept art, and you can put your own custom in there as well. So you don't have to restrict yourself just to the presets. So let's start by generating a texture. And I think if we put in the subject bricks, so we'll put in bricks and without changing any other settings. In fact, let's just hit seamless because bricks are typically seamless. Let's, uh, let's load this up. The very first run does take a moment or two just to get everything up and running, but once you've loaded it for the first time, it is very, very quick. A few moments later. So you can probably see the image slowly fading into existence from a load of colorful noise. <laughs> there you go. How mind-blowingly brilliant is that? That only took 25 steps, and now we have a seamless image texture. And if you don't believe me that it's seamless... Watch this. How astonishing is that? That is absolutely bonkers. And what we can actually do is in the dream textures, we can go into the advanced configuration and we can increase the steps. So we could say a hundred, this will take longer, but it'll refine the image even further. So let's just regenerate another brick texture. So bricks generate. So each time is an absolute brand new image. So let's have a look at some of the different, so photography, for example, we have a few more options when it comes to photography. So let's do cute dog and we'll do this as a medium close up. We'll do it as a low angle, full color, and we'll do a shallow depth of field, studio portrait photograph, and let's leave this on studio lighting. Let's see what this comes up with. I'm going to reduce the steps to 25 again, just for speed. Well, that's an unusual one. Oh, I've made it seamless. The AI is trying to make a seamless cute dog. Let's try that one again. So there we go. It's not the best framed shot, but this dog does not exist. This dog is being, has been generated by this AI. Let's try, let's do an extra long shot on this one. Maybe we could try changing the color of the dog as well. See what happens with that. Okay, it's not quite what I was expecting, but you, we do have the blue in the background. And this dog's not quite as cute as I thought it would be. Let's have a look at the concept art now. So we can we can say, okay, we've got, we want a character. We want it in a fantasy landscape. Let's keep it as blue cute dog for the prompt and see what happens with that. So there we go. This has actually given us our blue dog. This is done in a kind of a more of a, an artistic style, like someone was painting it. And that's what the concept art is for. Let's try an environment and we'll call it dystopia and we'll make this a cyberpunk theme how brilliant is that a cyberpunk theme dystopia so you could use this to generate ideas concepts for your designs things to inspire you and make whatever you wish um i just want to do one more i want to do one more. i want to do character i want to do fantasy so we're going to do a pumpkin scarecrow okay so that's giving me a pumpkin and a scarecrow not quite what i was hoping for this is the brilliant thing about this is you if you don't like something you can just literally go again there we go how cool that is just brilliant look at that i mean it's not perfect but for a concept art this is you could make this you could 3d model this a scarecrow holding two pumpkins under his arms with a strange pumpkin hat you know if that floats your boat perfect absolutely brilliant anyway i could spend literally hours and i have spent literally hours generating images in this <laughs> you probably want to know how to get this installed at this stage so the first thing you need to do is come over to the dream textures download page this is over on github and i will pop a link down in the in the comments and in the description so all you need to do is come across here and download the latest release so if you're on Windows, you need to grab this file here. 
it's almost one and a half gigabytes and you'll need to have something like WinRAR in order to extract the file. And so they've squished it down. You just need to extract the zip file onto your hard drive. Now, once unzipped on your hard drive, the file is going to be about five gigabytes big. So you need to make sure you've got sufficient space. So back in Blender, you need to edit preferences and then go to your add-ons and hit install. And then in the file browser, find the extracted zip file and then install add-on. So once you've installed and enabled the Dream Textures plugin, you'll need to do a few extra steps to get things set up. So first thing you need to do is in the setup model weights. Here, I've already installed it, so it's not showing me the options, but you actually need to download an additional file. It will link you to the website that you need to go to in order to get this. And this will take you across to Hugging Face website. Now you will need to register here and agree to all the terms and conditions. And once you've done that, you need to download this sd-v1-4.ckpt file. Now this is another big file. It's about four gigabytes. So the plugin will tell you where you need to put this file. It'll open up to the, the directory, so you, you can't go wrong. All you need to do is rename the file to model, and that's it. You just change the name of the file, and you're good to go. All the instructions are in, in the plugin. The only other thing that you might need to do is install dependencies. Everything is now included in the plugin, so you shouldn't have any issues with that. But there are some troubleshooting topics if things are not working as they should do. So once it's all installed, you'll get the little tick there to say the model weight setup has been successful. You'll have your troubleshooting topics here and the install dependencies tick box here. So once that's all done, make sure you saved your preferences and come out of Blender. You'll need to restart Blender, but then when you go back in, you need to then come across to say your image ed editor or your UV editor. It works in both of these. It makes no difference. And then on the side here, you want to be pressing N to open up your properties and then go down to the dream tab and go absolute nuts. I promise you, you will spend hours playing with this, just experimenting and changing. There's so much to this. And I would love to know your thoughts on this plugin and let me know if you've made anything that's mind blowing or any anything creative that you use this software for, because I would love to know. I'm starting to use this in scenes. I'm, I'm using this for image generation for concepts. It's I love it so much. It is probably one of the most exciting things that I have I have seen in a long time. So if you found this useful, then hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe because there'll be more content coming in the future.